Hi, new to Wanderlog? Don't worry, let me walk you through the app so you can start making travel planning easier and better than ever. Let's plan a trip to London. This is your trip plan, where all your information will be. Now I want to have a list of top places I want to go for my trip. I can easily do that by creating a list and adding places to it. There's no limit to the number of lists or places I can add. Let's call this list Best of London. Now let's add our first place. I know I want to go to the British Museum. Wanderlog has all the places on Google Maps, so usually typing in a few letters will help the app find the right place. Look, the British Museum. The place is now saved. If I click into the place, I can pull up my information I need, like opening hours, website, photos, and even reviews. I can also add important notes and links so I won't forget. I usually add a link to the ticketing office. If I want to have a more organized trip, I can also create a day-by-day -day itinerary. Let's go to the Itinerary tab. Now I want to see what places I could fit in one day. I will start by adding places same like before. And then I can start dragging and dropping to rearrange and reorder my days. Another useful feature has been the travel time estimate. I can see how long it takes to go from place to place and if I should walk or take the subway. It also shows my total travel time for each day. In one click, I can also open directions between places in the map app of my choice. Now, my list and itinerary are ready. All of the places will be marked on the in-app map. This makes it easy to see where I'll be going and my route for each day. You can customize how the markers look and their colors, which makes it look so much better than Google Maps. I can see that Borough Market is actually on the other side of Tower Bridge, so I will rearrange these. Now they should be in a straight line. The app helps me use all the information I have and makes travel planning a whole ton faster. Finally, if I've already booked flights, hotel, or even rental car, train, and buses, I can simply forward the reservation email to this address to automatically add it to the trip plan. Or I can input the details manually. I'll start with the name of the hotel, the check-in, and the checkout dates. And then I can add cost, confirmation number, or any documents I need. Now I have all the information I need for my trip right inside my pocket. I can share the trip with my trip mates so we are all up to date on our plans. If you don't know where to go yet, there is a mountain of resources in the Explore tab. There are lists of recommendations for restaurants and fun things to do, travel guides created by other users who want to share their experience, and also guides from popular websites like Eater and Lonely Planet. And with one click, I can add places in these guides directly to my trip plan. This app has helped me so much in researching, planning, and executing any trip that I had in the past two years. I can't really imagine ever traveling without it. If you haven't yet, download the Wanderlog app right now from the iOS or Android app store or go to wanderlog.com.